six-point plan to combat sexual abuse on campus. She's talking about the latest case of campus sexual abuse. And this alleged abuse happened the weekend before the first day of class. Add to that an attempted armed robbery and a dorm evacuation. And it's been a chaotic couple of days. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Digwe tells us now why safety concerns are at the forefront this semester. Parking spaces are full. Sidewalks are packed with students rushing to class. All signs that the fall semester is in session, but things haven't exactly gone smoothly. Well, I've obviously heard stories about college and how crazy it can be, so I'm not really surprised. Like I knew coming into it, it was going to be like that. There's been a report of sexual assault, then an incident of an unresponsive student with drug-making materials in his dorm room, and an attempt at armed robbery. Issues President Sally Mason tackled Tuesday morning. When you have 30 plus thousand students on campus, things do happen. Uh, these are not the kinds of things that we want to have happen. President Mason explained that campus leaders are working to end one of the biggest issues on campus, binge drinking. Five, six years ago, I was frankly embarrassed by rates of binge drinking that exceeded the national average significantly. Our rates have now come down to look much more like the national average. She also brought up the issue of sexual assault, saying that the now implemented six-point plan is still a great step to ensuring student safety. Which is why some students say the recent safety issues aren't enough to paint a negative light on the university. I think we also need to look at the other things that the university is known for, like medical programs, business programs, everything else that we're doing well too. We can't judge it just because this happened the first week of school. And that's Mugo Odigwe reporting for us. President Mason also spoke about the new required online training course for all the incoming freshmen. She says the hope is that it will educate the students on what to do to prevent and report sexual assault.